Isaac. Good to see you continuing to play so well. Uh, at this point, having achieved a lot in your career, really done beyond what most late round picks do, are you content long term? As you look at your career in long term, and I know every player on the team is just looking at New Orleans. But if I can ask you to look long term, is this role one that you are content in long term? Do you have any goals to be an NFL starter, a regular NFL starter at some point? Um, I, I mean, I always want to get better. Um, wherever that path takes me, it takes me. Um, yeah, can you kind of already know the answer? I'm kind of worried about this week and the technique and the fundamentals it's going to take to win this this game. And that's kind of been my mentality. Mentality, my entire career is just focusing on what's next and then just keep building week by week. And then one thing on this week's opponent, obviously you guys and us have gotten word in the last hour on Ian Book likely starting. Will you study Notre Dame tape of him in the next few days? Will you look at his one preseason appearance for New Orleans? Uh, we haven't sat down and talked about that yet, um, but I'm, uh, it's all about, yes, looking back at any tape um, from him, from college, NFL, anything we got. So, Thank you. Thank you. Travis? Hey, Zach. Uh, good morning out here on the West. Good afternoon in the East. Uh, I had a, two questions for you. One football, one uh, about yesterday with the Nickelodeon and the, MV, the MVP for Christian Wilkins. Did you eventually get a chance to slime him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that was later in the video. Yeah, that was okay, fun. It was a little yeah, treat. Were you, were you a big Nickelodeon guy growing up? Yeah, or? Absolutely. absolutely. I think that was awesome that he won that. And I think you couldn't have picked a better kid. I mean, Christian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's perfect. So my other question is football going back to the game on Sunday, like you meant, or Monday, I should say, like you mentioned, uh, Saints obviously have a very powerful running game. You've been very good against the run this year. What have you seen from them in terms of their running game, what they offer on tape? Yeah, they're a very uh, dynamic group. Um, they, they, they all play multiple positions and uh, they have multiple formations and packages. So it's just being ready and be prepared and uh, watching the tape and just uh, studying your opponent. David? Hey, hey, Zach, uh, and also just to uh, uh, follow up on that, uh, what are your impressions of uh, Alvin Kamara, the, the career he's put together to this point and, uh, and going up against him? Yeah, Alvin Kamara is an elite running back, um, has a great career. Um, but it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, he's, he's who he is. And also was just going to follow up uh, on, on Ian Book. How much, if at all, in your estimation, uh, do things change with that um, alteration for them? Uh, obviously, Ian Book is still a guy who can uh, get out of the pocket and run a little bit. I think we just got to stick to the game plan um, and what's been given to us and then just prepare for anything. Um, you know, with COVID, uh, anything can happen. So, Omar? I've been asking all of his defensive linemen for Emmanuel Ogba, one thing that you would like to take from his game and to incorporate into yours. And what would that be, Zach? Uh, his, his, like, pass, pass rush. It's just his knowledge of how to manipulate blockers and O-linemen and uh, using that to the best of his abilities. So you think he plays mind games with them or, or uh, it's just? And he just knows how each play. Um, he's very good at reading the blocks and reading the, what, the, uh, what he's presented with and making plays off that. 